Welcome to Achievers Books. The title of this book is, The Bag of Gold, by Eric K. Saki, of, Achievers Books. This book is one of the many inspirational story books authored by Eric K. Saki. We have comprehensive workbooks for all our story books. This makes our story books user friendly for parents, teachers, and schools. Enjoy. The Bag of Gold. Part 1. Lawyer Smat. Many years ago, there lived a lawyer in a town called Rocky. This lawyer was very corrupt and always looks for ways to defraud people. The lawyer, whose name was Smat, took bribes from people and lived a very crooked life. He always cheated his employees and was not sincere in all his dealings. Lawyer Smat took advantage of the ignorance of the people to defraud them of their valuables. The people of Rocky gave Lawyer Smat a nickname, I will send you to court. The people of Rocky gave this nickname to Lawyer Smat because that was his motto. Even if you have a little argument with him, he will threaten that, he will send you to court. Because many of the people of Rocky were afraid of the courtroom, Lawyer Smat took advantage of that to threaten everyone. One day, he took a bribe of 100 pieces of gold from Kwasi to give a false testimony on his behalf at court. Unfortunately for him, that bag which contained the gold coins was stolen. Lawyer Smat was so mad and he threatened to sue anyone he sees in possession of the bag. The thief who stole Lawyer Smat's bag of gold threw the bag away when he heard a police siren approaching him. Part 2. The Gold Coins A little boy by name Andrews, who was playing in the neighborhood accidentally saw the bag and picked it. When he opened it, he saw a lot of coins in it. Not knowing the value of those coins, he sent it home and gave it to his father. When Mr. Addison opened the bag, he saw 100 pieces of gold coins in it. That was enough money for him to buy anything he wanted. But he heard the announcement on radio that anyone who saw a bag of gold should return it for a handsome reward. Mr. Addison told his son, Andrews, the value of the gold in that small bag. He said to Andrews, My son, it is not good for us to take something which does not belong to us. I heard an announcement on radio that Lawyer Smat's bag of gold was missing. Let me go and ask if this bag belonged to him. I also heard in the announcement that anyone who returns the bag will get a handsome reward. Mr. Addison quickly went to Lawyer Smat's residence and said to him, I heard on radio that your bag containing some valuables is missing. My son has found a bag with some gold coins and I want to find out if it is yours. May I know the color of the bag? Lawyer Smats answered, It is brown and has some gold coins in it. Right. May I know how many gold coins are in the bag, Mr. Addison asked. Lawyer Smat asked, Why do you want to know? I want to be sure that the bag truly belongs to you, Mr. Addison answered. Lawyer Smat got angry and said, My friend, give me the bag and stop asking me unnecessary questions. I have told you the color of the bag and its content, so what again do you want to know? Mr. Addison said, I want to know the quantity of gold coins in the bag. I am not interested in the bag because it is not mine. If I wanted it, I would not have brought it here in the first place. But I just want to make sure that I am giving it to the right person. Lawyer Smat kept quiet for a while and started thinking of ways to do away with the reward he mentioned on radio. He wanted to outsmart Mr. Addison, so he said, I have 120 gold coins in the bag. 120 gold coins. Mr. Addison asked because when he counted it earlier in his house, it was 100 pieces. No if you had 120 pieces of gold in your bag, then this one is not yours, Mr. Addison asserted. Lawyer Smat said, My friend, I am not happy with the games you are playing with me. How many pieces of gold are in the bag? Mr. Addison replied, 100 pieces. Lawyer Smat said, It means someone has taken 20 pieces of the gold coins. Are you the one who took it? Mr. Addison got angry and asked Lawyer Smat, What question are you asking me? 
If I wanted to take 20 pieces of the gold coins I would not have come here in the first place. I haven't said you are the one who took it. So why are you upset? With the way you are angry, I am beginning to suspect you. Well, maybe your son hid the 20 coins somewhere. Please ask him. But you can give me the 100 coins in the bag and you take that one as your reward, Lawyer Smat suggested. What deal is this? I know my son. He would not keep those gold coins for nothing. There is no need to go and ask him about it. You are not being fair to me at all. Mr. Addison complained. Lawyer Smat replied, What do you mean when you say that I am not being fair? This is an indictment on my integrity. There is no need for us to argue, let us go to court. Mr. Addison got angry and left Lawyer Smat's residence without giving the bag to him. When Mr. Addison left, Lawyer Smat said to himself, I will teach this man a lesson. He does not know the one he is playing with. He wants me to give him some of the gold coins as a reward. I will not give him anything. Part 3 At the court Lawyer Smat sent the matter to court. At the court he was made to swear an oath before testifying. He took the Holy Bible and swore an oath, Your Lordship I, Lawyer, Smat hereby swear with this Holy Bible that what I am about to say is nothing but the truth. I had a brown bag with 120 pieces of gold. This bag got missing under mysterious circumstance. I went to a radio station and announced that anyone who finds this bag will be given a handsome reward. I was in the house last week and Mr. Addison came with a brown bag. He interrogated me concerning the bag and I answered all his questions. I proved to him beyond reasonable doubt that indeed the bag is mine but he refused to give it to me. Now, I had 120 gold coins in the bag but when he brought the bag, he had 100 coins in it. I wanted to give him something as a reward but because some of the gold coins were missing I was asking him some questions and he got angry and left. My lord, I do not know why my honorable friend was angry. He just left with my bag of gold. I have brought this case to court, so that the court will collect my bag for me. Thank you. The judge called Mr. Addison to tell his side of the story. He was also made to swear an oath. He took the Holy Bible and said, I swore by this Holy Bible that whatever I am going to say in this court is nothing but the truth. My son was playing in the neighborhood last week Tuesday and he saw this brown bag with some things in it. He brought it to me and I opened it to see what it contained. I realized it was containing some gold coins. I counted them and it was 100 pieces. I never took anything from the bag. A few days before, I heard an announcement on radio that Lawyer Smat's bag was missing and that anyone who finds it was going to be given a handsome reward. I took the bag to his house and asked him a few questions to ascertain whether or not it was his bag. According to him, he had 120 pieces of gold in the bag. But what I have in the bag is 100 pieces. He wanted to accuse me that I have stolen 20 pieces of gold from the bag. That was why I got angry and left his house. Lawyer Smat petitioned the judge, Your Honor, Mr. Addison said I wanted to accuse him for stealing the 20 pieces of gold. My Lord, I want Mr. Addison to understand that there is a difference between accusing someone for something and wanting to accuse someone. I never accused him for stealing the 20 pieces of gold. The judge asked Lawyer Smat, how many pieces of gold were in your missing bag? He replied, My lord, 120 pieces. When the gold coins were counted in the court, it was 100 pieces. The bag which served as an exhibit was kept at the court and the matter was adjourned to the following week. The judge presented the case before a panel of judges and they came to a conclusion that Mr. Addison be given the bag of gold for his honesty. They also agreed. Proceedings for the final judgment be broadcast on the national television, so that people will learn something from it. They also came to a conclusion that Lawyer Smat be punished for trying to claim something which was not his. 
the panel of judges came to this conclusion because many people had raised concerns about the integrity of lawyer Smat but they did not have any evidence to back their case. He was going to be suspended from the bar for three years. Part 4 The Final Ruling The day of judgment came and everyone was eager to know the judge's final judgment. He began to speak, with the evidence we have before the court, we have come to the conclusion that the bag of gold does not belong to lawyer Smat. I hereby order that the bag be given to Mr. Addison for his sincerity and honesty. Lawyer Smat on the other hand is going to be imprisoned for one year for lying to the court. He is also going to be suspended from the bar for three years. Lawyer Smat was enraged. He asked the judge, what shows that Mr. Addison had not taken the twenty pieces of gold from the bag? You and I were not in his house. You are not being fair to me. The judge ordered that the bag be brought to him. Now, when they brought the bag, there was a small tag on it with the inscription 100 pieces. Lawyer Smat did not know that there was a small tag on the bag with that inscription. Mr. Addison was also not aware that such a tag was on the bag. It was this small tag that the Council of Judges based their judgment on. When this evidence was brought to bear, everyone in the court knew that Lawyer Smat was just lying. When the proceedings were broadcast on the national television, everyone was happy for Mr. Addison. Those that Lawyer Smat had defrauded and cheated were also happy that at long last the law had caught up with him. Because of the reward that was given to Mr. Addison, many people in the city of Rocky started becoming very honest in their dealings. Those who were cheating and defrauding people like Lawyer Smat, stopped the crooked deals because they were afraid they would be caught. Lessons from the story 1. Evil never prevails. Lawyer Smat was very corrupt in his dealings but in the end he was caught. He used the courtroom to intimidate people but he did not know that his downfall was going to come from the same court. It is better to be truthful to people than to live on lies. When you lie today, you may not be caught but remember that one day all your lies will be exposed. That was exactly what happened to Lawyer Smat. Lawyer Smat thought he was astute but he did not know that his cap was getting full. That is what happens when you live a crooked lifestyle. You may get away with it today but bear in mind that you will be caught tomorrow. Live a good life and you will never regret it. 2. Honesty Pays Mr. Addison was rewarded for his honesty. When his son, Andrews brought the bag to the house, he told him that it was not good to take something which does not belong to them. This shows that Mr. Addison was indeed an honest man. Besides, he could have picked some of the gold coins since the bag was in his custody. But he never did. He kept everything in the bag intact. Little did he know that one day his honesty was going to be rewarded. Do not get tired in being honest. Honesty really pays. Remember that whatsoever you sow, that you will also reap. If you sow honesty in private, you will be rewarded publicly just as Mr. Addison was rewarded. This is the end of the story. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something valuable as well. All our story books are inspirational. You can order for the hard copies of these books as well. Our story books are different. What make our story books different is that, we have comprehensive workbooks for all our story books, be it for children or matured students. All our story books have glossary at the end to improve the vocabulary of the reader. We also have moral lessons outlined at the end of the story to help enrich and instill good values in people. Our comprehensive workbooks have several activities on, comprehension, grammar, synonyms and antonyms based on the story. The activities and quizzes in our workbooks are full of critical thinking questions to enrich and stretch the mental faculties of the reader. We also have teacher's handbook with the answers of the workbook, to assist parents and teachers who want to use this resource to teach their children or students, respectively. You can also join our e-library to enjoy free books on any of our social media platforms. Facebook YouTube or Instagram. You can also join our WhatsApp e-library from any country around the world. Achievers Books Inspiring Our World